Welcome to Cat Theory Yoga. I'm Cat, and this is Yoga for Tired Legs. So this class is great for relieving the symptoms of restless legs. And if you have been standing or sitting for a long time and your legs need soothing and re-energizing, you're in the right place. Enjoy the class. So we're going to start by coming right over onto hands and knees today. Having hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Lengthen from the crown of your head to the tailbone. Creases between the wrists and hands parallel with the front of the mat. Tummy gently drawn in. And taking a few breaths here, just observing how you're feeling. Breathing wide and full into your chest and feeling a sense of groundedness and strength as if you could push your hands into the earth and at the same time lengthen your arms out of the earth like trees growing maybe. And if you gently push the floor away then it will mean that you're not sinking and collapsing in between the shoulder blades so we don't want that, we want that broadness across the shoulder blades. Feeling as though you're gently drawing in from inner hip bone to inner hip bone. And then extending your right arm out in front of you and circling your wrist a few times in each direction. And place your hand back down. And then stretching your left arm out in front of you and circle your wrist a few times in each direction. And place your hand back down. Take a nice inhalation as you shine your chest forward, turning your tailbone up. And then tucking your tailbone under, round your spine up towards the ceiling. Relax your neck, let your head hang down, round cat. So inhaling, shine your chest through to up cat. And exhale, round into your round cat or down cat as it's also cool. So one more round like this, just bringing some movement, some energy to the spine. And on your inhalation, come into your flat back position, shoulders away from the ears. Extending your right leg out behind you with toes curled into the mat. Keep your hips level. And it's better if your foot is on one of these tacky yoga mats with bare feet because the skin of your foot will grip with a little bit of friction to the surface of the mat. So as you push down through your toes and out through your heel, you'll get a deeper stretch in your right calf area, back of the lower leg. Keep the back of your neck parallel to the floor, but you might like to just check underneath your body to check that you're not raising your right hip up. We want to keep the, the hips level. And it's okay for your shoulders to sink behind the hands as you really push back into your right heel. But then now making sure that your shoulders are over your hands directly. Sweep your right leg out to the side, coming into this tripod position. The right leg is straight, but it's not locked straight. So have a very, very soft knee bend. And then from here, we're just gonna take a few circles. So you can imagine you just have a point on the mat, maybe between your right foot and right knee, and you're circling around that point. If you feel tender in your wrists, then make fists, gentle fists. Just moving intuitively. And we're working into some stretches for the inner right thigh and the hips, and then circling the other way. This is going to help increase blood supply to your legs and your hips. And then bringing this back leg around, knee under the hip. Inhale, shine your chest through to up cut, curl your toes under. Bring tops of the feet to the mat. Exhale, round into down cat. Sink your bottom down to child pose. And then drawing your tummy in towards the spine, slowly rolling up to sitting. Bring your bottom to the floor, come onto your left hand side. And you can have your head flat on your arm, or you can just rest on a bent 
Elbow, rest your head on your hand. Make sure your hips are stacked one over the other, nice and evenly. Draw your tummy in, lift the pelvic floor. So you feel like you're engaging the core. And you might even have the sense of a little bit of space. It doesn't matter if there's no physical space underneath you, but have the sense of space underneath you, like a little mouse could run underneath your waist. Your bottom knee can be slightly in front of you. Bring the foot out. So you've got that firm base. And then taking hold of your top ankle or foot with your hand and drawing your foot in towards you, feeling your knee extending away. I like to rest my head down because it just makes me feel that my spine is a little bit more neutral. And just check that engagement. So tummy drawn in, pelvic floor lifted. You could imagine your pelvic floor, that hammock of muscle at the base of the body, or like an elevator drawing up and in, drawing up to the third floor. So not too harshly lifted just a gentle lift of the pelvic floor. Make sure your knee's not popping up. So you want to have this alignment of the thigh as if you were standing. And breathing here. So we're just finding our good alignment. Drawing the tummy in, lifting the pelvic floor, imagining space for a little mouse to run underneath your waist. Any discomfort in this right knee, just let it go. And then from here, release and roll over onto your back. Hug your knees in and gently rock side to side. Feeling this massaging the flesh around the spine. Keep your knees together, circle your knees a few times in each direction. Just feeling this massaging the flesh at the base of the spine. And coming back to centre. Bring your left foot down to the floor and extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Clasping your hands behind your right thigh and flexing your right foot. Don't worry if you can't get this right leg completely straight. Inhale and exhale, point your ankle. Inhale, flex your foot. And exhale, point at the ankle. Continue with your breath. Check in with face and jaw, lips, teeth and tongue that they are relaxed. Keeping your shoulders away from your ears. And then circling this ankle, so inhale as you circle the foot towards you and exhale, circle away. So let's go for about six rounds in each direction. Having the leg up like this, change directions is so great for your circulation. It can really help to relieve those sensations of restless legs because you're really helping your circulation. This is going to drain any collected fluid or venous blood from your leg, really improving your circulation. Let's have a few moments flexing the foot and pushing out through the heel, just breathing here. Have a sense that you're grounding down through the right side of the back of the pelvis. If you have got your right leg completely straight and you do want a little bit more of an intense stretch for that right leg, the back of the right leg, you can flex your left foot and begin to work your left leg straighter. As you do that, you will feel the intensity up the back of the right leg increasing of the stretch up the back of the right leg increasing. So you want to make sure you're always on your polite edge of the stretch. Find the polite edge where it feels like a challenging stretch but it's not hurting or shaking. And then bringing your right knee, right foot back, right knee in, and hugging your knees in, have a little rock side to side. <sighs> And placing your right foot down, stretch the left leg up, clasp your hands behind your left thigh. And breathe. On your exhalation, point your ankle 
Inhale, flex your foot, continue with your breath. And let's circle about six times in each direction, still connected with the breath. Still feeling that with every exhalation, you melt away tension. You could even visualize that with your exhalation, unwanted feelings are leaving your body. Imagine sending those feelings away from your body on your breath. Let's go the other way with the circles. Inhale, circle towards you. Exhale, circle away. Face and jaw relaxed. Lips, teeth and tongue relaxed. Eyes are relaxed. You might even have them closed. Tuning in even more to the sensations in your body. And then let's take a few moments with this left foot flexed, pushing out through the left heel. Focusing on working the left side of the back of the pelvis firmly down into the earth as the heel pushes away. So that sense of the leg lengthening in two directions. Heel pushes away as sit bone as the back of the pelvis rather, grounds down. And again, if you want more intensity of the stretch on the back of the left leg, flex your right foot and slowly extend the right leg bit by bit. You might not need to go far before your stretch on the back of the left leg reaches its polite edge. And then bringing the left knee in and the right knee back in, have a gentle rock side to side, and keeping these together, circling your knees. So we're going to roll over onto our right hand side. And I'm just going to actually turn around so you can see me better. I'm on your right hand side now. Extending out along the mat, stacking your hips on top of each other. Your bottom leg, the right leg comes just in front of you, a gentle bend at the knee, and taking hold of your left ankle or foot in your hand. Draw your tummy in, lift your pelvic floor, engage through the core. Notice how when you activate that engagement, that is when that stretch in the front of the left thigh and the quadriceps muscles really starts to kick in. It's when you draw the tummy in like a belt round your middle, being done up to the 10th or to the third notch rather. So you could try doing it up to the 10th notch, super tight and it's really tense. Release it to the third notch and just keep it there. So we've got that soft engagement. Powerful but soft not harsh. And again, any um, discomfort with your left knee, just release the stretch. And thinking about the pelvic floor lifting, and again, you can lift it up to the 10th floor of a building, really harsh, feeling like you're lifting that hammock of muscle right up, and then release it to the third floor of the building, like an elevator resting at the third floor. So a soft and gentle engagement. Breathe into the sensation of the stretch. Face and jaw relax. Just check that you're not holding any tension in your jaw or your forehead. And release that leg. Use the strength of your arms to make your way up to the day. And then coming over to hands and knees. So we have hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Lengthening from crown of head to tailbone, creases between the wrists and hands parallel with the front of the mat. Inhale as you shine your chest forward, and this time let's curl the toes under, pressing your toes into the mat. Bring the tops of your feet to the mat and exhale around your spine. Release your neck, let your head hang down. 
Inhale, shine your chest through to up cat. And exhale, round into down cat. And one more time. Curling those toes under, feeling that delicious stretch for your feet. As you inhale now, coming into a neutral spine, pressing your hands into the mat. Gently drawing your tummy in, engaging from inner hip bone to inner hip bone. So imagine drawing in this lower abdominal muscle area. And then extending your left leg out behind you with toes curled into the mat. If they're coming off the mat, come forward a bit so that you can have your bare feet in contact with the tacky surface of the mat. Thinking of pushing down through your toes as you push out through your heel. Ground the palms of your hands into the earth. Ground your fingertips into the earth, just gently. Back of the neck parallel to the floor. Maybe you have a little check underneath you that you're not raising the left hip up too much. But then just bringing the back of the neck parallel to the floor again. It's okay for your shoulders to sink behind the hands. This is such a great stretch for restless legs. It really does help to relieve the sensations. And breathe them away. Breathe those sensations that you don't want. Breathe them away. Visualise them floating far away from your body on the breath. And then making sure your shoulders are over your hands directly. And sweeping your leg out to the side, left leg out. And circling here. Good. Circling around that imaginary point on the mat. Nice delicious stretches into the hip. Especially that inner thigh, inner hip of the left leg. You can make these bigger or smaller, maybe sinking into the elbows a bit more to create a bigger circle. Move very intuitively. Soft knee bend, don't let that extended leg knee lock. Good. And then come back to centre. Inhale, shine your chest forward, curl your toes under, up cat. And then keep your toes curled under, stretching out the feet. As you tuck your tailbone and round your spine, sinking your bottom down to your heels. Extend your arms forward. Let your forehead come to the mat or onto a cushion if you prefer. And you can roll your forehead to side to side, massaging out the brow. And your toes curled under here as your bottom works towards your heels will give your feet an extra stretch. Maybe have a little wiggle side to side to work into that stretch, to massage the forehead too. Relax forehead, relaxed face and jaw. Delicious stretch for your feet. And then just gently grounding into your hands, bring your weight slightly forward as you release the feet, bring the tops of the feet back to the mat. Sink your bottom down towards the heel and gently rock side to side. And by the way, it can be useful to place a cushion in between your bottom and your heels if your bottom doesn't easily reach your heel or even just under the tops of the feet if this is a very strong stretch for your feet. This is a great stretch for your feet and it's so good for increasing the circulation of your feet. And I would really recommend as well, if you do experience restless legs regularly, to do my yoga for feet video, because that will really help to boost the circulation in your legs and feet, and this is all interconnected. So then drawing your tummy in and slowly rolling your spine up and bringing your bottom to the floor coming into a cross-legged position. Bring your palms to touch. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.